Hey guys, it's Trisha, the left hand of Stitcher again. I'm back. This is my, this is gonna be my my second uh, video. Um, <laughs> so I got this bag yesterday. See how big it is. Well, you remember in my kidding, if you watched the kidding video, I was talking about my um, orders from Everyday E Deals. So this was one of them. Big bag. Okay. So, is it, I, I won't tell you how many paintings were in here. We'll see. I'll, I'll give you the grand total at the end. Um, who knows? <laughs> it's it's a bunch. So, um, what do I, what do I want to how do I want to say this? Okay, so I am going to just I'm I'm going to get started on the pile. Of you know, they're all snack size paintings. They're all between three ninety nine, four ninety nine, I think. Um, I'll put the back there. So I got quite a few. I'm just gonna get started. If if I get through them all before I run out of steam, then then it'll be one big long video. If not, I will have to do part one, part two, part three, I don't know, however long it's going to take me to get through this whole stack of paintings. So if you don't like long videos, I, you know what, I don't worry about it because I, the way I look at it, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get adhesive spots off my desk as I talk. Um, if it's too long for me to watch in one sitting, I watch it in sec you know, parts. So I don't mind long videos. You, if I can't get the whole thing at one time, I will pick up where I left off later on. So that being said, we are just going to grab one off the, off the pile and get started. Now, having as many as I did in one package and coming from China, they are all pretty flat. So I'm hoping that that they that these just do okay. If they don't. I hope there's only a few that I might have to contact the comp, you know, the seller and go, excuse me, but I might, I'm going to need replacements. But we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. And just hold this up to the light and I can tell that there's nothing else in there. Okay, so my plan is to pull each one out. I'm gonna do the usual, show it to you, do the inventory. Um, I have a fairly flat spot to my left that I can put them down. And once I'm done with the video, I have a, I have an artist portfolio that I purchased specifically for th this order because I knew it was coming. I knew they were all small sized paintings that would fit into the portfolio. So I will put them all in that portfolio. And hopefully, hopefully they, they just, I mean, they're burritoed. They're kind of flat. Keep my fingers crossed that everything works out good. Okay, how is my, okay, there's, you know what? I think I tried to adjust this. See, there's the edge of my desk right here. Not that this is the edge of the white part of the desk, 
beyond here. This actually sits on top of a card table. So this is an old artist, you know, the kind that would lift up, but the legs weren't doing so well, so it's just sitting on top of a card table. And it works. It's per it was the perfect width. I'm doing my arms out like you can see me. <laughs> but it was the perfect width to fit between the two shelves that are to the uh, sides of this. So it was nice. And I didn't have to go out and buy a desk, so that was that was good. Okay, so yep. Gonna get started. Okay, so this is a Moonrise, oh, let's see, with a ship silhouette on the water. So I figured this would come out decent enough. It's a 30 by 30. Let's do the, do the thing to see if I can get it to lace straight. Flat-ish. But we'll have to see how many of these are clear covers and how many are going to be opaque covers because I just prefer clear covers. They're, they're easier to show. I mean I replace all of them, all the covers with parchment paper when I get started anyway, but a clear cover usually means that it's poured glue, and poured glue just weathers the shipment better. It's from what I've been experiencing and seeing in other people's videos. Okay, so there is, let's see if I can get it without too much glare. There's the, the image, and I think it's going to turn out really nice. I can see it in, you know, you when you look at it, when you're this close to it, you don't you don't really see that well, but when you look up in the camera view, yeah, I think that's gonna turn out really good. I did I did my best. Most of the ones that I purchased are ones that I could see the canvas and I could gauge how well the picture translated to the size. There might be a couple where I took it on faith, um, or I kind of had an inkling that it might turn out well, and I took it on faith. But I really like um, everyday e deals because not all, but quite a few of them will show you the have shown is showing the canvas. I, I'm guessing it's the ones that have the clear cover show the canvas in the listing and that that really does help me decide um, what I also love is they have reviews where people will post pictures of their completed works and that's even an, a better way of telling if you're gonna like how it turns out all right so let me get get started on the you know usual stuff okay a 30 by 30 it has 19 colors. There's DMC codes on on it. That key is really small, so when I um, when I copy it, I'm gonna have to enlarge it. I'm just gonna have to scan it in and enlarge it and hope. Either that, or I might I might just do do my white labels and draw the symbols. It's such a small painting that I think I'll manage I'll manage pretty well with it. Alright, so um, very basic toolkit. And I think I've been putting them in a little uh, basket up here, but you can tell that's gotten full. So I think we're just going to toss them to my left. There's an empty spot on the floor that they can gather until I'm, I'm ready to debag them and stack all the 
trays up and gather all the pens into one baggie, you know, like I do. All right, so let's take a look at the drills. I got a rogue drill already on the sticky part, so hopefully I don't have any broken packages, but we'll see. We'll deal with however we need to. And let's plunk that off of there. Alright. One of these days I'm going to have to get in that little space that way where I've been throwing all of the plastic and clean that up. Maybe after... Um, let me... throw you into that little tray right there. Alright. Maybe once this, the bulk of the remaining of my um, orders, wow, well, sometimes my brain just, words escape me. Okay, so these have the painting number and the number, sequential number from the key. And that's it. So, easy enough, but at least the DMC codes are on the key. And this one has a key at the bottom as well. So we'll just count them. Because if, if they're in a line like this, it's going to be rare that you're not going to have everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so taking a look at the colors, I that that peachy orange, that's pretty. Okay, the one thing that worries me is number fourteen. There is one drill in there. A single, <laughs> one, sing, one single little drill in there. So let's take a look at what number 14 is and see if maybe, let me get my glasses. Let's see, number 14 is the letter M and it's number 8. 23. And is there a possible? Nope. M. M is all over the place. <laughs> M is a, a big part of the background. All right. So, you know what? Let me start a list of the things that I will need to contact um, Everyday E Deals about. So, K966, we'll call this Ship and Moon. Um, empty number 14. So I'm going to need 823. Who knows? Who knows if they're going to send me the drills or send me a whole new a whole new strip of drills or just a whole new everything. We'll see. If if they do well, I might have a giveaway once I finish this painting if I think that there's enough of the M's extra. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll see what happens. But how many of you have had this happen? You know, tell me. How many of you have had where one of the packets is just empty? So the 
And for all I know, that one little drill is, is a rogue from here. <laughs> okay, so let's just quickly go over, see, take a look at the colors. I don't know how many of you like, you know, seeing the different colors. But there's got to be somebody who does, so. But I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna take too long to do these. All right. So I got my bag or my box of baggies right next to me. I'm quasi prepared for this. So we're gonna do K nine six six ship and moon and down here we're gonna put every day e deals every day e deals so e d e d will be the and I'm gonna put a little box in that corner right there of the little white righty part just to indicate that there is an issue that needed to be addressed. All right, so let's Yep, and this this video is going to be a crinkle fest. Which as you know, I don't apologize for. And as you remember, um, I store these in uh, an art bin super satchel because the little compartments are about this big in them and these fit perfectly just like so. I bought four more um, off of Amazon because I knew I was going to uh, I was going to outgrow the ones I currently had, and there was a packet package of. There was a lot of four for a good deal. So, and these right here, I think I'm going to toss them. I'm going to toss them in the bin behind me that I'm pulling the package paintings out of. So I think that'll work. Try to keep everything somewhat organized as I do this. Okay, number two. Should we should we should we keep a count? I think we'll keep a count because I know I will lose count at some point. So there's one. Here's two. Should I keep this in view or do I need to? I don't think so. Let's open this up, and like I said, I'm not a, I'm not going to point this out for everyone, but yeah, every one of them is pretty well flattened. But as long as they're poured glue, I don't see a problem with that. Ooh, I can tell what this one is. Okay, so there's my. release point and off we come. Alright, so this obviously you can tell this is a special drill project. Um, very basic special drill kit. The usuals plus a pair of plastic tweezers. So that way it goes. And Turn it over. There it is. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try to straighten out the. Might be a little more difficult because it's only a partial, so it's not going to react the same to this pro this straightening process as a full drill does.
uh, hopefully I can get it at least moderately straightened out. I have to see it. Okay, so let's see if we can get you a glare-free look. So there is the drill field. Let's get you up close. So a bunch of rhinestones and special drills all along this peacock. Okay, I have one wrinkle right. I have some wrinkles right there. So I'm gonna do this corner one more time. No, I think I'm just making it worse in some spots. Yeah, okay. We'll have to just live with that for right now. Because I don't want to spend too much time on each one. Alright, so this has 10 different rhinestones and specials. It's a 35 by 45. Take a look at our drills. Okay. There's my release point. Out. Out you come. There we go. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's just count it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I will show you real quick. Those are. Let me get my glasses on for this. <laughs> Those are AB pur purple. Those are really pretty. So we got some sapphire. And some teal, it looks like. Is that teal or is that just blue? I think that's just blue. And here's the teal. And green. And black. And silver white. And there's some purple teardrop ABs. And some green crystal uh, teardrops, it looks like. They look smooth, but they're teardrop shape. And then, ho ho ho, I was waiting, I was waiting to see if I would get one of these kits. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up this package and pull one out so you can see it outside of the bag. But, check out that. That is gorgeous. Let's see if... Okay, so if I get too close to the camera, um, I'm out of light. My my light, out of range of my light. So instead, we'll do, we'll do this. Ooh, yeah, there you go. That's gorgeous. And oh my God, the sparkle in in it is just such a unique. And I know that those go right there. That's going to be, this is going to be a pretty one when it's done. Okay, so. Alright, I, I believe that's good for my inventory. And let's get the, the bag done. Okay, so this is a... Does it have a code? Yes. Y X eight zero two nine. Now there are no codes on the canvas, and there are no codes on the on the bags either. It has the canvas code and then the sequence number. So, boo to that. Since we know now that there are codes for rhinestones, um, that, you know, it would be helpful. But, alright, so we're gonna write our 
filler code there and everything's good we're it's partial oops okay well that'll teach me to write things in sequence <laughs> so partial peacock special okay Gather these up in the width that will fit into the bag. There we go. Get that. And you know what? I'm just curious, real quick. Real quick. Let's look on here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 of those. And let's just see how many I have. Okay. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I have 3 extra. That's good. So at least, you know, I don't have to wonder if I'm going to have enough of these. I mean, because rhinestones I can probably pull from other kits, you know, I can find, you know, reasonable replacements for most of those rhinestones and specials, but these things, not so much. Okay, let's see if I can get them in the bag. Okay, success. That doesn't happen very often. All right. So, let's kind of push some of the air out so I can fit more of them into the cubbies. Okay, back you go. And there we are. to the side and let's grab number three make a mark so I can keep track I mean I know how many there are but it's kind of cool to count them down with you guys so you can see you know how far along we are okay out we come, nothing in that, and then open it up. Alright, so this is another special drill, and I've seen someone else do this one. This one is so pretty. I mean, they're all pretty. Just some, some have a more pleasant arrangement than others. And it's, it's, you know, all, everybody has their own sense of aesthetic. So, oh, I don't know if you can hear that. We have a thunderstorm coming uh, in the area. So hopefully, um, even if, even if we lose power for a little bit, I have at least one light that isn't connected that has a battery so it won't go completely dark in here and my camera has is our is well it's it's a it has a battery normally I run it off a battery when I'm filming but given how long this video might end up being I have it plugged into its wall power just in case all right so very basic kit and it's, I mean just some basic folds you know rounded folds nothing that seems to be too bad so they should turn out pretty good so there let me see if I can get up close there's the 
It's real filled, and what it looks like. Okay, so my key. Oh, had it upside down. I mean, granted, it's very symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. All right, so this is a 30 by 30. There are 12 um, rhinestones and special drills. So let's get those get those open. So how I I love thunderstorms. I love the sound of rain. I love the sound of thunder. I actually li watch a lot of, I, or listen to a lot of the ASMR videos that are based on rain and thunderstorms, because I just love them. So, do you love them as much as I do? Okay, let me, it's my usual drink. I'm going to be taking drinks during this because, whew, yeah, it's, it's going to be a while. So, let's take a look at these drills. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And that's the right count. So, let's take a look <clears throat> closer. There's yellow rhinestones, purple rhinestones, and teal rhinestones. It's a pretty uh, darker teal or a green. Kind of a fuchsia, a pinky fuchsia. Those are football shaped AB, and I think they are somewhat clear, but the AB makes them look multicolored. Uh, pink football crystal, really squashed football, um, peacocky colors, uh, yellow crystal football, pink round crystal, uh, the AB orange, that's not quite orange, and then your AB, well, yeah, AB purple, so, wow, so, I, I've ordered, <coughs> excuse me, I've ordered quite a few of these special drilled ones, because they're just so, so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna grab, grab another Ziploc bag. And, okay, so let me look real quick. Sometimes I remember to say all the things as I go through and sometimes I don't. So this has a sequence number and the kit number, but nothing else. So there are no no color codes um, on on this one. So it's R eight three six one. I'm gonna call this a swirl mandala or mandala mandala. I think it's mandala. Mm. I don't know. I went on Google and I asked it to pronounce it for me and it was more of a mun instead of a man mandala so who knows does it really matter does it really matter if I'm pronouncing it right or not because you know what I'm saying so you know what I'm just gonna go with what comes out of my mouth and we'll call it good Okay, so Swirl Mandala Special. I'm going to have to come up with names for this. So, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and write what I've come up with in the corner. You know, certain ones are very, very definite, what I'm going to call it. You know, Peacock. <laughs> peacock is a peacock. Ship and a moon is a ship and a moon. But this is, you know, a little more subjective. So we're just gonna call this swirl. Mandala. All right, and then 
everyday -y deals. These bagged up. And burritoed so they fit. Just let a little bit of air out. They fit in the art bin nicely. Okay, so one last look at my swirl mandala. Another one. This is number four. So let's get this cut open. And pull it on out. Ooh, I can tell what this one is already. <laughs> so this is a special. Partial again. Look at that. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's funny how there's so much color. I wonder if the drills have the, this much color. Okay, real quick, let me sort of do do the thing. Okay, before I let go of that, let's give you just a little bit of, you know, don't roll up on me kind of arrangement. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Like I said before, when I do this, I'm usually it usually takes one rotation plus a couple more um, corners. Some corners just lay down nice, and other ones not so much. So those are nice. There's a wrinkle in the plastic right in the middle, but. I don't, you know what, I'm not going to worry about it right now, because it's what it is. Alright, so let's see if, since it is poured, like people have said, you can roll them backwards and hold them for about 20 20 seconds or so. Um, canvas is a little, uh, got a little fringy right here, but no biggie. I can just cut that right off. Okay, my left hand is, I'm left handed, but I use, I use the scissors with my right hand. So I'm primarily left handed, but I am ambidextrous in other ways. So I write with my left, I use a scissors with my right, I I think I bat left handed but I catch right handed. It's weird. Um, I'm fairly interchangeable with a, a pistol but a rifle I'm definitely left handed. Which really sucks with the M16 because the ejection port is on the left side. So I am constantly getting, well, I don't shoot it much anymore since I'm retired, but I was constantly getting it bouncing off, bouncing off the side of my face. And then the ones that would <laughs> perfect trajectory and end up down your shirt, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> okay. So this one has eight special rhinestones and special shapes. Okay, very basic drill kit as usual. And we'll get to the drills. 
Okay, 30 by 40. I love snow, and I'm always looking for designs that have the, the saying, let it snow, that I like. So, this one was a, a given. Alright, so we're going to count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Pretty, 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 pretty. Is there anyone out there that doesn't love the sparkliness of rhinestones? I don't know. I'm sure there is. And to each to each their own, but I'm not a very girly girl. I love pink, but I I don't I don't wear makeup, you know, blah blah blah. So I'm more of a tomboy. But I love my sparkle. <laughs> I just love sparkle. Okay, so let's grab a bag. And I don't know, did I get up close enough for you to see? Well, heck, with my glasses, I will be able to see. So those symbols are, are really clear. It's pretty evident what is going to go into each each of the spaces. So, okay. Let's get our bag ready. So this uh, canvas code is R8210. If I, okay, so I have what I can, I call um, quasi-dyslexia. Uh, I've I've gotten out of my letters. I don't do anymore as far as my uh, dyslexia, but numbers. I will write them in the right orientation, but I have a habit of transposing numbers. I've gotten really good at at not doing that because just over over my years I've. I've learned to just automatically triple check what I've been doing. So, but if I if you see me write one down wrong, you tell me, please. Cuz that would suck later on. <laughs> All right, so this is the let it snow. Partial special from everyday e-deals all right Let's get you bagged up okay maybe I should open the bag before I try to load the bag As I stack them over here, I'm going to try to um, keep them all semi-flat. So as they go on top of each other, maybe the next one will help the, hold, help the other one lay down. Alright, so this is number five. Now, I did count them when I pulled them out of the big bag, so I know that the number that I ordered is pr are present. So hopefully they are all the ones that I that I ordered, because I've seen a couple videos recently where people get the wrong paintings. So. All right, this one is another special shape special drill rhinestone and it is that that 
a sun face. All right, let's do a quick push against the back. And do some. Oh, that didn't go well. Yeah, I think I just I, I need to actually take my time doing this. I feel like I'm trying to rush a little bit. Um, since this is going to be a long video, but let me take a breath and be a little bit more purposeful in my movements. So, take my time. All right, so that's decent. It's still really, like I said, these partials, they're, they're just gonna be more bended because they don't straighten out like the full drills do when you release the paper. Let's do a quick roll in the opposite direction. and see. Oh, that sort of helped. <laughs> but not really. Alright, so there we are. There's, it's funny, I saw my camera try to do a yep, little um, box around the face when it detects a face. There it is. Now this one is also just gorgeous. Look, there's a little bird there. And there's a butterfly and there's a bee and there's a bumblebee. So yeah, I think this one's gonna be, this one will be pretty quick too, um, but it'll be really pretty. All right, so this is a 30 by 30. There are 10 types of rhinestones and specials. Uh, very standard special kit. And let's open the drills. I don't really worry about um, the drill field on these too much because with only so many colors, I think it'll be pretty easy. Oh, look, there's an owl. Huh. It's amazing what you, what you see. You don't see it when you buy it, and but then you can see it when you get it. So, all right, out come the drills. Take a look. Again, it's, there's a sequence number and the um, canvas code, but no color code. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got the right number of packets. And let's take a look real quick at the drills. Oh, look at those PTAB ones. So pretty. Pink. Ooh, deep pink, and blue, peach, green, orange. Oh, those are pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I am gonna love this one. Okay, so let's get a bag and. Let's get them packaged up. Okay, so this is R8280. And we're going to call this um, Sun Face uh, Partial. Special and everyday e deals. There we go. And I'm 
you know, the ones that are pretty evident. This is a sun face, so I don't worry, worry about writing it up there because sometimes when you look at something, the name is like this. So you know when you see it again, you know, you're going to know it right away. And there's others that you have to look at it for a moment and decide what to call it. Those are the ones that I, I'm going to write at the top. Just to make life easier for myself. And when I, I finish, if I can finish this whole thing in one, one long video, <laughs> one long video, when I get get to the transfer to my computer and the edit and then the rendering and all that and the load it, uploading. And that's going to take forever, so I will be able to update my spreadsheet with all of these new new projects. Now, I, I will have to show you, maybe I'll do a video um, tomorrow or next the next day. I think it might be a day or two. I'll do a short little video to show you. Number six. Um how I keep track of my my projects that I have available or things I have on the go. I do the same thing that I do for my cross stitch projects and it works really well for me so I'll show you and hopefully something that you guys can um, if, if, you, if you like it you can do it and it will be helpful to you I've seen um, Donnie with Diamond Painting by Donnie. She prints out um, screenshots and puts them in a notebook. I do the the other, you know, the, the more electronic way. I have screenshots that I keep in a folder of all of the projects. So this. Ooh, really so you can see it in the camera it's kind of not not so visible to me let me get this kind of straightened out this is a full drill um, the majority of these are round there's only a maybe one or two that are square so I will indicate the ones that are square if I don't mention it then it's around. Okay, let's do that one more time. Try to get there we go. This canvas is pretty or this cover, the edges of it are pretty jacked. It's all cut wonky. And this, this one was turned under, so it was the part that likes to really stick to the canvas, was sticking to the canvas. Alright, so from the back you can tell, mostly shipping folds, just a little bit of a wrinkle, or a rumple. It's not a wrinkle, it's not sharp enough to be a wrinkle, it's a rumple there and there, but it should work, should be just fine. So there, there he is, yes. I could tell by the canvas picture that it was going to turn out absolutely beautiful. So there, yes. For this small size, sometimes you're just surprised at how well an image will turn out. I've noticed that some animals translate really well, like horses and wolves and dogs do well. Anything with whiskers 
not so much. The, they, they don't, most of the time they can't quite, the whiskers don't quite translate well. So, all right. So let's take a look real here. There are 24 colors. There are DMC codes on the key. Your um, uh, symbols are 1 through 9. N, X, P, D, Y, K, J, E, R, H, A, C, M, F, and V. So pretty decent selection of the letters. So they're not confusing. Basic kit. And let's see. I'll pull this back. Let me bring it up. Oops. <laughs> Let's get up close. So you can see those symbols are nice and clear. Nice and clear. So. I am I am happy about this one because I think it's gonna turn out just beautiful. Opening of the doors. There we go. Okay, so let's do the counting. Once I figure out where the beginning is. So there's one, two, three, four. Alright, so the packets have the kit's code on it, as well as the sequence, and then there's another number that doesn't seem to mean anything specific, because it's the same on each packet. So, alright, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So, let's just quick look at the colors. This orientated so that it flows nicely. Of course, it's a, it's a wolf, so there's going to be some grays. Whites and grays and grays and grays and grays. And grays. And black. Yep. Alright, so that's... In the camera, it looks just awesome. So yeah, this one's, this one's going to gonna be beautiful. Alright, so let's... Get the bag ready. So, it, code is B001. And it's a wolf. Um, since I might have more than one wolf, something or others, we're going to write the size down on here 30 by 40. And Full round everyday E deals. Okay. So I think that that'll work. That'll be enough of a clue as to which painting this belongs to. So these need to go two by two. Accordion. Loose pairs as well. Oh. Right then. It's 
kind of a snug fit, but it all does fit into one layer. So when there's a lot, a lot of drills, I fit as many as I can in this bottom section, and then the, the next grouping goes on top, but then it kind of slides to the top of the bag so that it can still kind of burrito a little bit. I do have a couple bags where the bag doesn't burrito, it just stands up and then except for this, you know, floppy part at the top will will bend over and then it just sits in that compartment because the super satchel bins are about this tall. So that works nicely for this this type of project or this type of storage. Okay, so there we go. There he is. So let's move on to number seven. Can I just pull that open? Yes, that worked. Out, out it comes. Ooh. This is one I wasn't sure of because there was not there was not a picture of the canvas or the anybody's finished piece. So this is one I kind of went on kind of faith or just a hey let's let's just see <laughs> let's let's be the guinea pig to figure out. Okay, so burrito folds and a tiny bit of really subtle uh, rumpling. But here it is. Let me get a little thumbnail up here. It is a watercolor seahorse. Isn't that pretty? So I'm hoping it turns out well enough. Go ahead and do the cover thing. This one has a nice big key. Large symbols on that key. But there is no DMC numbers on the key. Just to sequence numbers. And this side. Okay, so it is laying flatter. A little bit better so you can see. Let's see if I if I stretch it a little bit. You can see it. Yeah, there we go. There it is. It's really pretty. Lots of blues and teals. And I always love watercolor effect type of art. So this was this was one that I was willing to take a chance on. So yep. So there's 17 colors. It's a 30 by 40. And okay, really basic toolkit. And let's get the drills open. Now I'm looking at the symbols. Okay. Eventually I will work out a system of, you know, giving you all the information. And it will become ingrained, so I just do it <laughs> instead of having to go think about it. Okay, so symbols are the numbers 1 through 9 and the letters D, H, M, X, E, N, K, and A. And the symbols are fairly, fairly clear. Clear enough. And it's a light, light on the dark. So that's helpful. Alright. So this one's this 
one's good. We'll see when, when I complete it. But I, I have a pretty good sense now that I've seen, I see the canvas. It should be, it should be clear enough. And because it's a watercolor effect, I, I think it just lends itself really well to this. All right, so. Where is my release point? There it is. Do you think they fold these in such a way to hide that release point? I think they do. Okay, so out comes, and there's plot. So I can go that way. So let's see if there's 17 packets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So all of the all the numbers are here. The packets have the, the the canvas code and the sequence number, and then another number that's the same on all of them that I don't really have a clue what what they are. We got you know as usual. There's almost always a rogue drill somewhere in the pack. So let's. I'll have you look at the colors really quick. Lots of teals and blues and greens. There it is. Awesome. So besides pink, I mean I love a lot of color. So Sometimes I, I say blue is my fa favorite color. No, no, I pink is pretty much my favorite favorite color, but it's not all pinks. Lots of pinks, but not all pinks. But blue is one of my colors. Certain greens I really love. Um, red, true red, not an orangey red. True red. I love true red. Okay, so canvas code is W274. And I'm going to call this watercolor seahorse. That's pretty much a given. And everyday eagles. Since I, I haven't, you know, I more or less know what I've ordered, I know that this is not something I've ordered another one that's very similar so I, I think this that'll be enough information on there for me to tell what it is okay that's a little tight so two packets wide is a little bit too too wide for this so we're gonna have to massage it just a little bit to get it all to settle in there nice. Okay. There's my burrito. And you go back there. There it is. One last look at watercolor seahorse. So pretty. Take a drink really quick. Mm -mm -mm. Love my Dr. Pepper. Okay, let's go for the next one. This is number eight. You know, like I said, I might get through this before I run out of steam, but I'm not quite certain of that. So, I might just keep you guys in suspense as to um, how many there are in this one order. So, package. 
plastic away. All right, so burrito folds and just a slight bit of rumpling. So shouldn't be a problem. Very basic toolkit, which was open. So now I have a drill pen under my chair, but oh well. <sighs> okay, here it is. So let's give you the thumbnail really quick. It's Hawaiian flowers. I really don't know what what these flowers are called. These are the ones that they use in the in their lays. Those little daisy chain flowers that they always put around people's neck. But I love them. I'm looking for The perfect rev uh, decal. Ooh, oh, that didn't go well. So let's. Get that off of there. So those of you who have never had this happen, never seen it before. And as you can see, it kind of. It's still sticky, but the sticky isn't shiny anymore on the canvas. So, and there's a couple of wrinkles. We'll have to see how that. So let's do this better. <laughs> more be a little more careful. All right, it's right here. Can you see the cover is pushed up? and it's wrinkled up, so some of the canvas was exposed. Let's bring it back to roughly the center point and smoothly, not too fast, not too slow, do the push. Nice and smooth. All right, so I got a little bit of a wrinkle going in in the cover, but it's pretty flat now. I'm not worried. Excuse me. Um, so the there are 18 colors. Symbols are the numbers one through nine. And the letters K, M, H, N, E, V, X, F, and D. So lots of colors in this one. I mean, lots of range of different colors. So let's get up real close and see. Sorry, guys. Pretty clear. I don't think I'll have a problem with them. Heck, I can even make out most of them without my glasses, so this one should be good. All right. Um, I don't know if I said 30 by 40. It's full drill. It's round drill. And let's get, let's get these open. Ooh. Some of these colors. I'm loving it. Okay, so where where does it start? Right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So those are good. The packet has the canvas code and the sequence number and some number that doesn't mean diddly to us. So. Here are the colors. Um, no, that's coming out really different. In real life, that's a really pea green green. So I know my camera colors aren't absolutely. Oh, frog drill. Green. Ooh, look at that pink. You know what? That looks. More peachy than brown. 
it's brown in real life. It's not quite so peat. But that green, it's a little darker than what it's showing up as. Let me see if I can... I don't know. Maybe my eyesight is not not as good as the camera. Who knows? Alright, so let's just go through the rest of the colors. There we go. There that is. Lots of rogue drills in this one. But as you may re recall, I when I Put this up, I will pour these into a tray and pull out the rogue drills before I put them in their uh, kit containers. Alright, so let's grab baggy. Okay, canvas code is W404. And you know what? We're just going to call this Lay Flowers, because that's what comes to mind. Eventually, one of these days, I will learn what this flower is called. It's just one of those things I have to think of it while I'm sitting at a computer so I can Google it. Um, everyday Medials. So we're doing pretty good. There's only been one so far that's had an obvious issue with the drills. So, and most canvases are pretty decent, you know, other than the shipping burrito um, folds, but so they should be fine. And so far, they've all been uh, clear. So that. That gives me some some pretty good hope that it is. Let's see if I can get it good. That it's going to turn out very nicely. Okay. So there we go. Off to the side, and let's grab another one. So this one is number nine. I don't think I'll make it through all of them tonight because I am starting to feel kind of fatigued. So we'll do we'll do a, a few more, and I think we'll call it for the night. So this one, okay, this one is iffy as far as how it's going to turn out. Even the thumbnail, you probably aren't going to be able to tell very well what it's going to look like. So the picture that it's based on is really pretty and it's really abstract so I was kind of hoping that this would turn out. So let's get, let's get this somewhat flattened. As I'm doing this, I will mention Let's see if I can tell Sometimes it's written really tiny So you can't see it without my glasses, but nope There is no indication to the size on here, so Let's do a little bit of measuring here is, yeah, let's use the centimeters. All right, so the canvas itself is roughly 30, 30 by 30, but the drill field is roughly 25 by 25. Because, let's see, yep. So roughly a 25 by 25 on a 30 by 30 canvas. So this one is, I don't think it's going to turn out very well. It's 
too small for the image that it's trying to portray. I mean, it'll still be pretty. Um, and it's small enough that, you know, it won't take long to do. I mean, who knows? I've got so many, I, I may never get to this one. Who knows? We'll see how things go. But looking at it in the camera, I can see it a little better. So who knows? Maybe this will turn out really nicely the way it is. Huh. So the okay, key is kind of small. So it is numbers one through seven and letters A, B, C, F, H, J, K, L, N, and O. And I can read them. I can read them. I can read all of the symbols quite, quite well. So, can you see that? Not sure if bringing it up to you is better. But it's definitely faster. <laughs> I'm maybe I have to get another light to position above the camera because my work light is only about an inch higher than the camera, but it's a good six inches in front of it. So it's camera's here. Go that way six inches. <laughs> And there's my LED strip that I bought for when I was doing a lot of paper crafting. So that's what I use for my desk illumination. And, I mean, it's bright and it's true, true-ish light, so it's nice for this, but it's not perfect. Okay, so there's that. 17 colors. Um, very basic kit. bag the drill the drills and on the packet we have we have the sequence we have the DMC code which is okay I don't know if I mentioned there's DMC codes on the key they're also on the packet and the canvas code is on the packet so I know for some of you that's really important um, because of how you store your drills so that's why I'm mentioning those things so we got one two three four ooh, wait okay so one two we have three 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 packets of 310 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17. So the right number of packets. And let's look at the colors. Pretty. Ooh, some vibrant colors with some dark backgrounds. So there they are. Pretty, 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 pretty. And then 310, 310, 310, 310. 310. And more pretty. <laughs> All right, so let's grab my bag. And what are we going to call this one? I think I'm going to call this one call this one Feather Mandala. Okay, so canvas code is C. Two six six, and we can call this feather mandala, and I will write it up here as well. Feather, can you see what I'm doing? You can probably see the top of my head. 
Alright. So there we go. And it's um ready deals. Open it up. Yeah. I mean this act like I said, this actually might turn out really nicely. So one one of these days I'll get froggy. Bust this one out just to see how it does. Those are some pretty colors, and I'm happy that they got DMC codes on them because I'm in anticipating within the next month or so. It depends on how quickly my hobby craft um, order gets to me. I will once I get. Bear drill storage assembly uh, storage uh, what's the word I'm looking for method assembled and ready to go I'm going to grab the kits that I've already done that have DMC codes and I'm gonna start start doing loading up that on camera because Rebecca does it she calls it her was it breakdown break you know breaking down the kits after the painting's been done and I do I really enjoy watching those videos so I think I will do those because I know I'm a odd duck in most things but there's there's people out there like me so I'm kind of wishing there be other other YouTubers that I like. You know, certain ones you like to you like to watch, you like to listen to, and some you don't. Um, it's all personal preference. I know there's some people that don't like watching me, and that's their prerogative. But enough people enough people like watching me, so I know. That's why I do these videos. Ooh, this is gonna be okay. This is stitch. It's a cute little picture of Stitch with a butterfly on his nose. Okay, so I think all of the paintings that I show in this video, and of course the next video that is part two, and then part three maybe of this. Um, I will link every one of the paintings that I show. So, okay, this one was rolled inward. Let's see if rolling it outward does, does any good. Oops. Okay, this one's being a little wily. I gotta pull it towards myself a little more in order to get it to behave when I get it started. Alright, so there we go. Hold it for a few seconds. Okay. And then, I think, much better. Alright, so let's do my... Pull and straighten. This is a 30 by 40. Full drill, round. And it has 25 colors. And it seems like the canvas is really sticky because it didn't want to pull back that in that direction. it when you do one corner it messes up the other corner. Okay, that's pretty good down there. I got one wrinkle over here that I want to see if I can get. There we go. One more time in this corner. 
pretty good. All right, so as you can see, it's burrito rump, you know, folds. But I don't even see any rumples on those. So this one should be pretty good. Um, again, once I pull off the sh pull off the covering to do the parchment paper, I'll take a real close look at the drill field before I put the parchment down to see if there's any parts that I need to doctor. But yeah, you can see in the camera. It's amazing how the camera shows the picture better than what you can see, you know, just with it by you. I think it's because the camera simulates a distance. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he's so pretty. That's gonna be adorable. Adorable. Okay. So, the 25 colors, we have a menagerie of symbols. Letters. Mm, it looks like all letters. We've got lowercase d, uppercase e. That's dark. That looks like an S, uppercase. Okay, so it's uppercase unless I indicate otherwise. So we have F, Y, V, P, U, Z, L, D, B, M, A, N, K, little b, w, j, t, c, h, r, x, and a little h. So, but the symbols themselves do appear to be pretty clear. So I should not have a problem with this. So adorable. Alright. There are DMC codes on here, so that's good. Kit, standard. Um, I'm just tossing them to the side because, because I want to. Um, I do use the green boats. I do use the pink pens. I do use the pink pack, pink wax. Um, I've gotten a few more drill pen pens. I'm starting to try out different ones, but and again, I don't do hours upon hours of drill painting, diamond painting. So it's. So far, it's not been a problem for me to use the pink pen. And for some reason, the pink wax seems to last quite a while around here. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the dry air. It's kind of kind of counterintuitive, I guess, but it seems to last me quite a while. So, one, two. Okay, the. The packets have the sequence and the canvas code, but nothing else. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24 and 25, so the right number of packets. And there's my colors in that short segment. And let's turn this over. Okay, so here's the other colors. Lots of bright colors for this one. All the stitch colors and the sky colors and Oh, look at that pink. Love it. Okay, there we go. So, nice. Nice painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just some of these you look at and you're just like, oh, so cute. Okay. Alright, let's get my bag. Oh. There are... This is a box of 48 storage bags. So I might have to buy another box. 
before all of my orders come in. So, <laughs> all right. As as you can tell, I'm a stasher. I love collecting stash for my crafts. So, I don't I don't feel bad about it. I I have started to <laughs> space has become a bit of an issue, but we will make do. And we'll just <laughs> do what I have to. So, okay, let me stop real quick. And that's something about me. My plan, of course, you know, who knows if this plan is going to come to fruition or not. But my plan, when we've retired, retired, we're going to buy a plot on a lake. That's what I want. I want to live on a lake. The house, it, it, it can either be just a plot and we'll build our house or the house it doesn't need to be big. The house does not need to be big. Just enough to live in. Because my plan is back farther in the property, not too far from the house, but back a little bit, is gonna be the craft barn. I want I want a massive building that is just a basic, you know, vinyl siding rectangle. Doesn't have to be architectural, doesn't have to be pretty, but it's gonna be big and there's gonna be so much storage in it. And I'm gonna have different areas for my different crafts. So there's gonna be a, a cross stitch section, there's gonna be a sewing section, there's gonna be a puzzle table. There'll be my diamond painting section. I think I'll have, I think it'll be two stories because Jason, my husband, he's also, he's a crafty person. He does other crafts, he does leather work and chain mail and paracord weaving and he also does gunsmithing and just all sorts of stuff. So he's crafty. He'll have the bottom floor since a lot of his equipment is going to be heavy. So he'll have the bottom floor. I'll have the second floor. So there'll be plenty of light. I'll have windows that are high on the on the wall so that I can have storage against the wall. And I think I might have some skylights as well. So that's that's my plan. That that's my dream for for my retirement. All right. So this is stitch with butterfly. Okay, well, who did E deals? I think that's good. All right, so let's open it up. And do a two by two accordion is what seems to fit. Nicely. There we go. All right. Boom. And in you go. Yeah, these are the ones that they almost don't fit two by two. So you have to kind of coax them down there. Okay. Let's get out the excess air and close it up. Okay, so my drill burrito is ready to go into the pile. Okay, so there he is. All right. Grab one, another one. 
Boom. This one is number 10. Boom. Okay. Let's go grab, grab scissors for this. It seems to, yep, that works really well. Okay, up how it comes. And. Dump. Ooh, yep. This one. I've seen, I, I've seen, um, oh yeah, in the camera. It's turned out so good. So, like, some of these small sizes, they just, they're going to turn out so good. And, like I've, I've said, I try really hard to pick ones that are going to turn out nice. And I have, I have a very good um, spatial, I, I have spatial thinking and an analytical brain, so some of these I can look at and go, yeah, I think those, that's going, that's going to do well. Um, but others, you know, it's the canvas. Seeing the canvas picture is really helpful. Seeing examples of ones that people have finished. Sometimes that really seals the deal. And boom. Okay, one more corner. So far I am th I am thrilled. Darn it. I went too fast on that one. Okay, remind me, Trish. Trish, just slow, slow, slow down. <laughs> Damn it. Slow down. Do it. Don't rush. <laughs> okay. So, there it is. Wow. You guys are seeing it so in it yeah, just beautiful. For s s such detail in the picture. They do a really good job at portraying it. Oh, so nice. Okay. So this is a 40 by 30. It has 16 colors. <laughs> um I'm not going to well, I mean I don't have to sh when when the image portrays this nicely on the camera. I'm not even going to bother showing you the thumbnail. Um, so the symbols are all letters and they're all uppercase. We have D R K M O F B A H J E C G N L P. And See if we can get it up there close enough. Can you see? I think those symbols are pretty good. So I will be. This will be nice to do. And at least the O and the G have enough of a difference in their background color. Even though they're right next to each other, right there. It's easy enough to see the, tell the difference between the two. So nice. All right. All right. So let's look at the drills. So many blue. I don't know. This might be. A, I'm sure this is not a record for the blue number of blues that were in a kit, but I think it's a it's a contender. Alright, so one, two, okay, so sequence number in the kit, the canvas number, but nothing else. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the right number of packets. So look at all the blues. More blue, oh, a little bit of white. There's okay, more blue. And some black. 
Ah, so pretty. There he is. All right, so let's get my bag. And we're gonna call this blue dragon eye. There are other close-up eyes. Um, I might order some of them later on. But when I look at this one, this says dragon to me. And it's blue, so I think that's a very accurate thing to call it. Um, kit is LM083 and it's everyday he deals. accordion up in the packets. drill burrito placed on the stack of drill burritos and one more gander at this guy so pretty all right let's grab one more who have a feeling this might be okay number 11 thinking what is this <gasps> okay now oh yeah you can see it in the video I'm looking at it uh, at in front of me and I'm like what the hell is that but yeah you look in the viewfinder and I can tell so it is a somewhat risque picture Not exactly nudity, but nicely risque. <laughs> they, they call it Hug Five. <laughs> Look at that. I had, I could tell by the canvas picture that it's it was it has a very good chance of turning out quite nicely, and it's, it's stunning picture, you know, so I think, you know, there's so many flowers and butterflies and stuff that to have one like this that I think is going to turn out really good, yeah, something different, something fun, okay, so, ten colors, the um, symbols are one through eight and the letters A and C. Lots of grays. So <laughs> uh, I think we'll name this one Fifty Shades. I think that would be perfect for it. <laughs> you know, those of you who might be offended by this image, yeah, I, I can't apply. I can say, uh, you know, I kind of want to apologize, but also at the same time, I always mark my videos for not for kids, because you never know when I'm going to cuss, 
and you never know when my, you know, something like this comes along. But I think, I think this one is fun. That fun image. All right. So let's find my release point right here. I think if this one doesn't turn out as well as I think it should, I mean, because I think it should turn out pretty darn good. I might see if I can find it in, in a larger resolution. Um, but, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, packets have the sequence number and the canvas code. Canvas code but nothing else. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's look at the colors. Alright, so several, every shade of gray I think DMC makes. <laughs> so, there we go. Alright, let's grab, let's grab a bag. And canvas code is L416, and we're going to call this 50 shades. And everyday e deals. All right. Get accordion. Drill burrito is set and stashed, and one more gander at this. I don't know, did I? Sh yeah, I showed you the. And of course, if you like this one, I will link. I'm going to link them all in the description. Okay, let's do. Uh, let's see. This is number 12. how some of these they're just the flap is all jacked so you can't quite get a good angle on the scissors and okay, I think I got it there we go because you don't want to cut the canvas all right this one is this one is a partial. It is the ever popular okay, standard, kit, standard kit. Ever popular dragonfly and lotus. I've seen this one done so many different ways. I the one that is a full drill of this doesn't come out. It, it doesn't seem like it comes out all that well. So I may if I if I get froggy and I want to do I want to do the full drill picture of this one, I will have to go on to AliExpress and find find one there. But I thought the partial in the rhinestones of this this picture is going to turn out really pretty. So I am thrilled. Really pretty. Okay. This one corner could be better. Yeah, there we go. Still a lot of 
A lot of wrinkles in the canvas, but at least it's laying somewhat, somewhat flat. Let's do the thing where I can kind of stretch it a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Stretch. All right. Get up close. So there's what the drill field looks like. Like that. And there are 11 rhinestones and specials for this one. It is a 30 by 40. There we go. I think you can get a better view of that. Alright, so let's look at the drills. Okay, the packets have the sequence number but and the canvas code, but nothing else. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the right number of packets. And we'll take a quick look at colors. Lots of purples. Blues, oh, green, yellow, kind of a light sea foam. White, ABs, blue ABs, peacock, round crystals, and uh, light teal AB teardrops. So, so pretty. Okay, so let's get my bag out and real quick, let's look at the back. So burrito folds and very light rumpling, so it should be should be fine. It's laying nice. It's laying kind of pretty good flat for being a partial. Um, so, canvas code is LL136. And Dragonfly and Lotus Partial Special Everyday Ideals. Here. That's enough information for me to be able to determine which one this belongs to. Just loving, loving the rhinestones. So pretty. Burrito. Okay, one last scander at that one. Pretty, pretty. Okay, and we're gonna do. Mm, let's do. Let's do two more. Okay, two more, and then we're gonna call. We're gonna call it for tonight because it's already three minutes to nine o'clock. I want to get this at least loaded or transferred to my laptop and get the editing done and get the video rendering. Or maybe at least as long as I can at least get it transferred and get it edited, I can render it at work but I can't upload it at work because um, my I have to hotspot my laptop. Where's my release point on this? I can always see it better in the video than than I can real life. So when I when I watch my video back to make sure everything 
upload it okay. I always do that. It's right there. It's right there. When I couldn't see it. Um, so, my I have the hotspot for my cell phone to... to do any internet stuff with my laptop and my cell service on base is dismal so I am not going to try to upload while I'm at work I can do everything else at work so maybe I won't even well, I will, I will get at least the transfer started tonight. I am feeling tired. I was tired today, so maybe I'll just get the transfer started so I can render, I can edit, and I can render at work. And then I can upload when I get home. But, okay, this is, this is a partial special. I love this design. The colors are so pretty. The overall design is just so pretty. The colors, oh, love it. Okay, so this is a 30 by 30. It has 18 rhinestones and specials. I don't know, can you, did I get it? Get it good so you can see, yeah. See how pretty that's gonna be. Oh, I think it's going to be stunning. Let's bag over there. Okay, so, cool thing. It has a, well, DMC colors, and then some of them have special codes but there are codes and numbers so I'm happy about that so when I have to um, file away the spares I can actually identify them all right so of num okay so the DMC ones have sequence number it looks like Let's see, this is number two. Nope, that's not. So it has the, that code on here, but the other numbers don't seem to make, or anything that we, mean anything to me, so. So packet one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so I have up to seven. That's all of the ones that have DMC numbers or just simple numbers. So the rest of them have an a YX in front of the number. So let's let's just get them turned in the right direction. So that I can see the number, sort of. Some of them are a little hard to see, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so the first one is 107. There, 107, right there. I'll show you these. It's kind of an AB coating. Looks like a round, crisp, orange crystal. So there's that one. We have 211. See, that should be one of these. There we go. 211 is a yellow crystal. Kind of an amber crystal. Okay, next one is 229. There we go. It's 229. That's a pretty aqua teal round crystal. 
in the bags it's kind of hard sometimes it's hard for me to tell if it's like a facet cut rhinestone some of them are like a, a round smooth round dome one um, but it, I can't tell in the packets all right so that that one next one is 072 process of elimination nope there it is 072 an AB crystal teardrop pretty okay next one is 076 that one's easy to see it's the orange AB covered teardrop opaque ones one two three here we go. One, two, three is a pretty pink teardrop. So pretty. One, five, five is this one. A small teardrop blue tealy color AB covering. So pretty. Now I have two, three, four. This one. So a opaque white teardrop. Oh, AB covered. Uh, let's see. Zero, zero, 005. It's going to be this one. It's tiny little blue crystal teardrops. Yeah, so much color. Okay, 207. This one's so opaque. They're football shaped teal AB covered. And last one, it's kind of hard for me to read. 305. Yep, 305. Ooh. Amber, darker amber in their heart crystals. Isn't that cool? So, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so now I'll show you the colors of your standard round rhinestones. I think they're all, they're all round. It looks like best I can tell with my eyesight. So there we go. Just a clear. Let's look. It's kind of a gr green, but it's a yellow green. There's purple, blue, and a green and pink, and more of a fuchsia or. That might be red. I think that's uh, that's actually red, red. Ah, so, so much. Okay, so what what do I want to call this one? Because it it doesn't come, you know, like nothing comes to mind like that. So looking at it. I think this one looks kind of, should we call it floral? How about, kind of looks Scandinavian to me, but do I want to write that all out? Well, I can, I can abbreviate it a little bit. All right, so canvas code is DZ231. And we're going to call this a Scandinavian floral mandala. And it's a partial special from Everyday Ideals. So that should be good. No, let's write it up here so. Scandinavian floral mandala okay that works works for me Accordion folding. 
our chain packs and then tossing in all of the single packs. Kind of arrange them just, just well enough so that they sit nicely. And there's my burrito for this one. Okay. So pretty. Okay. Let's get one more to unpack. No, one more. Did I say? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 14 total. So this is number 13. a mountain of those white packets. Ah, this one. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. So it goes this way. Can you see it? It's a red betta fish. So pretty. I think this one is for for its size, it's going to turn out really well. Again, if when I'm done, I'm not if I'm not totally satisfied with it. This is an image that I I really feel like I would seek out a bigger one to do. But I have I have good hopes that it'll turn out well enough. But it's a beautiful beautiful image. Okay, so when we were when we were stationed in Germany. We had a gorgeous aquarium set up. There it was so easy. We tried doing an aquarium here in New Mexico and the water just isn't good enough. It's water, there's something with the water. The tank wasn't healthy, so we decided we'd just take it down and, and sell, sell the aquarium. But there we had a gorgeous aquarium. And we had one betta, and he was this beautiful red color. We called him George. And the funny thing is, is, you know, you see those little tanks that they sell the bettas in and they say the bettas are okay in these small tanks. Yeah, they might do okay. But George loved the big aquarium. There, we had a bubble wall in the back and he would surf the bubble wall and you could tell that he was just having a grand time doing it. So, yeah, this reminds me of George. George the Betta. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. Some of these you just, I have to stare at for a while because I think, oh my gosh. Okay, so there are nine colors. This, it doesn't have a list, it doesn't list the size, so we'll do a quick measurement. It's pretty much, it's going to be the same. So it's about 23 centimeters in both directions, so 23 centimeters square, and the canvas is roughly 30 centimeters square. But yeah. Oof. All right. So let's move on. Okay. Very basic basic kit. And oh, look at all the reds. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. So the packets have. Ooh, cool. The packets have the DMC co code on them, whereas the the, co the key does not. But they're on the packets, which is good. So sequence number, packet, um, 
The last four digits of this chain is the um, canvas code, and I don't know what the other numbers mean, but it doesn't matter because the important one is there. Yes. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two packets of nine. <laughs> I bet you can't guess what the 9 is. 310, of course. So here's the colors. Two packets of 310. And then several shades of red. So pretty. So pretty. Alright. So let's get thing done. So a co canvas code is D160. Um, we're just going to call this red beta. And it's everyday ideals. So pretty. Okay. Get this one packed up. And burritoed nicely. Ready? Okay, so one more. Let's grab. Oh, two stuck together. So let's grab this one. So here is number 14. There's my flap. Let's get a good. not started so it'll just tear open. Let's put my ruler back, pull it out so there, and ooh, yep, this one is neon. Okay, so it's a partial, but it's a, a neon scorpion. Uh, this one I didn't, I couldn't see the canvas of, so I didn't know it was a partial. Um, but I, I felt like I've, like, it, uh, okay, I, I'm not going to be able to get that, because so much of it is not sticky, so that's, not, it is not going to work. <laughs> Let's see if I, if I can do it, roll it the other way. All right, so we got burrito folds in the back, fairly Fairly pronounced, but manageable. So let's roll it. See, that is an awfully. That one might cause a little problem when it when you roll it the other way and it still has an indent. That might. Ooh, you can hear the canvas the cover redistributing. Hopefully I didn't do more damage than good. Okay, so hold it for a few seconds. I keep hearing a little beep. If you can hear it in the background, um, I'm pretty sure that's the, what do I call it, the smoke detector battery. It started just, just now started to give me the signal that it might be going, um, running out of juice. All right. Do you, okay, now that it's laying a little flatter, I should be able to redistribute this. Cover a little better. Yeah, that, that one worked nicely. Let's try this coin. 
much better. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so yeah, you can see him. He is, he is absolutely stunning. The way it's just a glow, glowing, glowing, glowing. Which this is an artist rendition. It's one of those ones where it's the shape of the thing, just in a, like a real neon, out, you know, shading. So that's how you get it. But it's what's cool about it is scorpions if you take a black light when you shine a black light on a scorpion he fluoresces it's it's so cool to see in real life how it happens it's just it's amazing so there he is yep and you can see because it's partial underneath of him it's like he's sitting he's sitting on a shiny black surface so there's a little bit of a reflection of him that is just stunning I, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to turn out nice i'm hoping it does because this is the one that i want on faith so okay so standard drill kit and there are only six colors in this. Um, it's a 30 by 40. And the plastic off. The packets have the sequence number and the canvas code, but no, there are no DMC codes. So I have six packets. Easy enough to see in one glance. Ooh, and the PJ in the back, I've been, I've seen in videos people say that these are really good drills. So I'm, I'm excited about that. So there is uh, the blues in this one. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a fun, fun project and I hope he's st st as stunning as I think he's gonna be. Now what would be really, what would, okay, so if you are a uh, manufacturer watching this, what would be really cool is if the drills on this were glow in the dark. <laughs> it would be so cool. Oh. Alright, so let's do the bag. Yeah, it's a good time for me to wrap up for tonight because my voice is starting to get a little raspy. So, whiskey 225 and neon scorpion. And this is a partial. Everyday ideals. Okay, so that's ready. And get it burritoed like so. All right, so yes. Last one for tonight is this stunning scorpion. Okay, so most likely I will come back tomorrow after work and either finish up this batch or put a good dent into it. So there we go. Alright. So let me say goodbye. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this partial unboxing of a very large order from Everyday E Deals. Um and happy crafting, be kind, be safe, find joy in the things that you do, and I'll catch you next time.